effect of pressure on equilibrium position. Now, when a chemical reaction is in equilibrium state, there is a certain amount of pressure present in the reaction vessel that maintains the equilibrium position. If anything happens to this pressure at which the reaction is operating with at the equilibrium state, if the pressure increases or decreases, the equilibrium position will be lost. Now, this reaction will have to adjust in a way to cancel that effect, that change, that increase or decrease in pressure. Now, let's see how to solve problems on pressure effect of equilibrium reactions. Let's take this question. Question says, what is the effect of the following on the equilibrium position of the reaction below? Number one, increasing the pressure of the reaction. Number two, decreasing the pressure of the reaction. And the reaction is giving us N2, that is nitrogen gas, plus three moles of hydrogen gas, reversibly producing two moles of ammonia gas. Now, according to the question, we are being asked the effect of increasing the pressure of this reaction. Also, the effect of decreasing the pressure of this reaction. Let's solve the problem. Solution. Now, note this. Very important. When a chemical reaction is in equilibrium state and you are asked to predict the effect of an increase or a decrease in the pressure of the reaction, very simple. This is what you do. Pressure has effect on only gaseous substances present in the reaction given to you. This is the equation given to us. Before you can answer a question on the effect of pressure on equilibrium position, the first thing you have to do is to ensure that the equation given to you is chemically balanced. Looking at the board, we can see the chemical reaction given to us is balanced. The equation is balanced. We have two, two nitrogen atoms on the right hand side and we have two nitrogen atoms on the left. We have six hydrogen atoms on the left and we have six hydrogen atoms on the right. Simply means that the equation is balanced. Now the next thing you should check out is the gaseous substances present in the reaction. Remember this. When you are talking about the effect of pressure, you consider only gases. This is where you watch out. Here it says G, which means gas. The nitrogen is in gaseous state. Hydrogen is in gaseous state. The ammonia is in gaseous state. Anyone that is in solid state or liquid state is not considered when you are answering questions under pressure. Now, the next thing to do after identifying the gases and balancing the equation, the next thing to do is to check the number of moles of gases present on both sides of the reaction. As you can see, on the right hand side, we have two moles of gases, that is this. When the equation is balanced, the number of moles of gases is two. On the right hand side, we have here one mole of nitrogen gas, and here we have three moles of hydrogen gas, in all, it simply means that on the left hand side, we have a total of one plus three, which is four moles. Right here, we have two moles. Now, as you can see, the number of moles of gases on both sides are not the same. Now, notice, when the pressure of a reaction in equilibrium state is increased, the equilibrium position will shift to the side that has lower number of moles of gases. 
Now, with this concept, it simply means that an increase in the pressure of this reaction will shift the equilibrium position to the right hand direction, which we call the forward reaction. Why do I say so? Because the forward reaction contains a lesser number of moles. As you can see on the board, on the backward side, which is the left hand side, we have four moles of gases. That is one plus three. Why on the right hand side, we have two moles? Now you can see that the right hand side, which we call the forward direction, has lower number of moles of gases. Therefore, an increase in the pressure of this reaction will favor the forward reaction. Why? Because the forward reaction contains lower number of moles of gases. Now, the second question says, what is the effect of decreasing the pressure of the reaction? The answer will be the reverse of the first. Note this. An increase in pressure favors the side with lower number of moles of gases, while a decrease in pressure favors the side with higher number of moles of gases. Therefore, if the pressure of this reaction is decreased, that is reduced, the equilibrium position will shift to the backward direction, favoring the production of nitrogen and hydrogen gas. Note this, if equilibrium moves to the right hand side, we say it moves to the forward direction. If it moves to the left hand side, we say it favors or it moves to the backward direction. In summary, an increase in pressure favors the side with lower number of moles of gases, while a decrease in pressure favors the side with higher number of moles of gases. Thank you for watching. Click on the next video to see the effect of concentration on equilibrium position. Thank you.